Hi, friends. We're doing the, uh, wait, I keep messing this up. Eight pin questions tag. Um, so I did this last year. Simone and, and Leanne from Leanne Likes. Um, well, Simone is from Simone. Anyway, they were like, hey, blah, 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 do it again. Okay, let's go. Um, so last year I filmed this while I was taking a walk, hike, and I really wanted to do the same thing this year, but I've since moved, so I can't do the same exact hike. And more importantly, it is raining a lot. So I can't really like, I mean, I could try and go out and film, but I'm worried more about like wind noise than anything. So here we are in my new place. Well, I mean, is it new? It's new to me. In my new to me place, these aren't my things. Um, but that's not why you're here. Eight pin questions. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maria. Question one. When and how did your fountain pen journey begin? This hasn't changed since last year. <laughs> Surprise. So in, I think, 2016... I was probably on Reddit and I saw this post of this beautiful ink. I think this is how this happened. And I was like, I need this to be in my life. How do I make, how do I get this writing experience? And I learned you have to get a fountain pen. And so then that happened. I got a fountain pen and now we're here. That's how it began. It was driven by the need for ink. And honestly, in many ways, it still is. Um, or put perhaps another way, it's driven by the need for color. I'm very, I have like, I don't know. Colors make me feel things, you know, like. There's a certain shade of blue that just suffuses me with goodness. Actually, it's kind of like the shade of blue, but you can't tell. The camera's not here to get up right. It's dark in here. We're moving on. Number two, favorite inks in the beginning. And what are my go-to inks now? So favorite ink in the beginning. I'm going to say the ink that started it all, which is Jacques Herbon Emerald of Chabor. That was the ink that got me to buy pens. And I do still, still love it. In fact, like every time I think of it, I'm like, mm, why don't I have that in a pen right now? Um, maybe it will be in a bit, but probably not because I just inked up a bunch of pens. Um, so that was the ink. And then if I think of other inks early on, well, early on, I was on the fountain pen subreddit a lot and I was very easily like swayed by what they said I should like. So they're really big into fine and extra fine nibs. Like they're like all about how the fact that Western nibs are bad and they're not fine enough and how you need the like finest needle point tip in the world and you need like a black that's like the best thing ever. And um, yeah, like yo, that's not me. Like, and I'm gonna argue that they're objectively wrong because they will just give that advice to everyone, some people there, without actually like trying to figure out what that person is about and what would actually suit them. Um, so go to inks now. I tend to really appreciate a good shading ink. I do like shimmers ever since I found Diamine Earl Gray. That has been a favorite. Um, Sailor California. Love it. That is a favorite of mine. And oh, Pilot, Hiroshizuku, uh, Tsutsuji, and Yamabudo. 
those are also a couple of favorites. And there are more, and maybe this is a question for a different time, but I like those a lot. Um, Cause how could you not? Three, how have my ink and pen ch taste changed over time? You know, it's like I should really preview these questions because I'm answering them ahead of time, but is that me? No. So we're just doing what we're doing. So how have my pen and ink, um, blah, 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 what I said before. So in some ways I feel like my tastes haven't changed. It's more that I have honed in on what my tastes actually are. But mm, so again, early on with pens, I was about the extra fine and fine. And I was kind of into like, let's look classy. Is that me? Maybe sometimes I'm painting my nails. Did I mention that by the way? I'm painting my nails. Um, so, oh no, my computer screen went off. I can't go off. That's where the questions are. I think that, yeah, I liked, you know, more timeless, classy. I did really want flex nib up front. I've since learned that actually that's not like what, fountain pens are great at not modern ones so I've kind of moved on a little bit um I think where I'm at now as far as pen tastes is like well solidly medium broad nib I tend to skew more western um hold on sorry I did explain to someone that I am talking to myself but I'm making a video too anyway so I hate the terms Western and Eastern. No, they're so like Imperial Western to who to England, of course. And, um, Oh, hi. Hi friends. Hey, Amanda. Um, <laughs> it's that's not Amanda. Me, you. <laughs> it's hey. me. Oh, that's me. That's my impression of me. That's not me. Um, anyway. Hi friends. Welcome to 29 inks, 29 days. <laughs> I hope you can hear that. Anyway, look at my vein is going crazy right now. Okay, stop. Don't talk about the vein. Let's be normal. So anyway, I don't prefer super fine Japanese nibs because I write expressively, aka big, and I like them real thick and juicy. Anyway. Uh, so that's pen tastes, where I've rambled for 20 minutes about pens. And ink tastes, how have they changed over time? <laughs> well, I've gone through phases, right? Like, there was a period where it was like, sheen, yeah, let's go. And then it was like, maybe I like shimmer, but then I didn't have the pens to, like, support the shimmer that I liked. And so then I was like, oh, you ruined my Pilot Metropolitan. Although, really? No. Okay, I'm not going to talk trash, but I'm, I, yeah, no Pilot Metropolitan for me is all I'm saying. Anyway, I really like shading inks. You know what? I like all the inks. I don't love sheen when the sheen overtakes the base color. I like color. That hasn't changed over time. Okay, question four. Are there pen inks and pens that you have yet to try but would like to inks i mean there's so many inks i haven't tried and obviously i need all of them because color on the pins front let's see i feel like this is coming up soon and i don't care on the pins front you know what's interesting to me that monarch nib that seems interesting because it's like so different um, and then Visconti, I'm into that. And maybe Aurora, I'm trying to say it like Italian. I hope you appreciate that. Um, yeah, that seems real interesting to me too. And that, that's like all that comes to mind. Uh, five. What is your holy grail pen? 
Well, we went over this last time. There's not really such a thing for me. There's not like the pen to end all pens, right? Like a whole, the Holy Grail was something that was continually sought and never found. And in fact, many people don't believe it exists. So like, why would I want that in a pen? I don't. Um... I don't want a pen that, like, I'm not going to dream after a pen that I'm not going to get. The ones I answered last time are still true. So if we talk about pens that I think are great, but that I'm not going to buy, would be like the Mont Blanc Agatha Christie pen. I like the snake clip because I'm here the snake. I probably said all of this last year, but it's a new year and, you know, maybe I didn't say this. I also like the, uh, I think, is it the Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir, which is also snake clip theme. I like those. I kind of dig the Aurora Mambas. I like the texture, but if I recall, those might be slightly rounded tops, which are not my jam. Um, so those come to mind as pins that I think are like neat that I'm not going to buy which maybe is what Holy Grail gets at. I don't know. If we're talking about like a big budget pen that like I'm saving for and maybe one day I'll get, I don't know. Maybe something by Visconti. I eyeball that Divina, the like aqua-ish one. That's cool. And then There's another one by them that comes to mind. The, uh, maybe the Dark Age one. I don't know. There's not really a thing. Number six. How many pins do you currently own? I didn't count. I'm not going to count. I think it's probably around 50. I'm okay not knowing the exact number. It doesn't really matter to me. I own the number I have plus or minus something. No, I own the number I have. I mean, there's no plus or minus about that. I mean, I do have pins that like I want to get rid of still. By the way, those ones that I said I wanted to get rid of last time, still want to get rid of them. I should do a thing and be like, hey, people, take my pins. Um, but yeah, so I think it's around 50. I actually haven't bought that many pins over the last year. So it's not that many more than I owned last year. That last year, I think I owned... Right about 40, and then I bought a new pin case and that holds 40, but then I split them differently. So I think it's probably 50, maybe as much as 60. But anyway, number seven, do you have a limit on pins or inks in your collection? No. Is it a number? No. Is it a feeling? No. When do you know that you have reached your maximum? Nope. <laughs> Why am I setting arbitrary limits on myself, y'all? I'm not. I have the number I have. If I want more, I'm going to get them. If I don't want more, I won't. That's it. I don't have like limits on this. It's, if it's a thing that brings me joy, why do I want to stop myself from having joy? As long as it's not like hurting myself, right? Like anyway, we won't get into that, but for reals. And then number eight, Consequently, what would you do if another pen or ink came along? I'd get it. Oh, I didn't talk about inks. Do I have a limit on pens or inks? On inks, my practical nature starts to take over where I think like, should I really have so many inks? Am I really going to use these? And I, um, I do think, so I just moved and having to pack your possessions and then like maybe do some of the carrying of them and then like finding places for them and then choosing like, oh, because I have stuff in storage, is this something I'm gonna pay to store? That does make you give a hard look at the things that you own and think like, oh, do I need this? I didn't get rid of any inks or pens or even any related accoutrement as part of this move. Um, for one, it doesn't take up much space. Um, but I did stop 
doing the um, subscription service to get myself new ink samples every month because I found that I wasn't using them um, enough for me to feel comfortable. Plus, I wasn't using the stuff that came with the inks and that felt really wasteful. In fact, I have like a whole box of stuff that I moved that I want to give away because I am not going to use it. And that didn't feel good. I don't like being wasteful. So that's the way in which I'd limit myself for ink. So what would I do if another pen or ink came along? I would get it. However, I'm going to ask myself, especially with ink, like, do I really need this? Am I really going to use it? Why am I getting it now? But I do that with like most of my stuff. Um, there's a few categories of stuff where I have a harder time books. I have no business buying more books. Did I just buy a book that should be here tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I did. But it's like kind of video game adjacent. And I think Manda has it also. But I don't think she's read it yet. I think it's called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. But I don't really remember. Anyway, I'm excited about it. But that's not pens or ink. So who cares? Maybe I'll write about it with pens and or ink. Um. So anyway. Uh, did that cover the eight pin questions? Let's see. Yeah, that covers them. So... This was a mess, even for me, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to be linking down below the person who is going ahead of me for the eight pin questions and the person going after me for eight pin questions, as well as the playlist of everybody doing the eight pin questions hashtag here on um, YouTube. Because it's, I think it's really interesting to see what everybody says and how it changes over time. So I hope you'll check out some of the other videos, all of the other videos, and give them subscribes because they're by and large, no, stop. They are all wonderful people. I need to stop like caveat things, you know, sometimes you're allowed to just be excited. Also... It's like past 11.30 at night and I've had a couple of little fashions at this time. Should I have started with that information? Maybe. Are you still watching? Probably not. But watch the other videos. And I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.